agenda item 6B is case number REZ 2018-05. It's the Colleen property. It's located at 1228 South Main Street in Lake Park. It's a request for RA to M1. It involves 27.5 acres. Mr. Davenport. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, correct. It is South Main Street, which is in the city limits of Lake Park, but Lowndes County has the jurisdiction on the overall property. Otherwise, no updates based on the staff recommendation and planning commission recommendations from over a week ago. With that, um, no updates for the commission tonight, and we do believe it's ready for your consideration. Okay. Any questions for Mr. Davenport? Okay. Hearing none, we'll turn it over to public participation portion of the meeting. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Anyone that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Okay, hearing none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward and state your name and address for the record, please. Bill Langdale, uh, 2519 Jerry Jones Drive, Valdosta, Georgia, and I represent Mr. Mike Clean, who happens to be sitting to my right over here. I would have submitted it on the without going through a hearing, but since my client has showed up, i got to let him know I'm here. <laughs> I can't say so it was a three-hour meeting now. In, in any event, seriously, um, and I know Jason uh, has briefed y'all on it, and I agree with everything he said, uh, except for his, one of the conditions, the one that the Planning Commission did not accept. We totally agree with the Planning Commission. <clears throat> I, I've been familiar with this property a long time, and I know Mark and some of y'all who have dri driven by it have seen it for many years. Mike owns 100 acres to, to the south, uh, southwest. The, the compass directions in that area are a little confusing. We all think I-75 is north and south, and it's really skewed a little bit east and west in that place, I guess, to go around Twin Lakes. But in any event, it was owned by Old Castle, which was known as Greenleaf. It's a big garden and farm and garden company. And they, if you recall, there was debris all over this track. It was a horrible track. We contracted for it by we. I, con I represented Mike to buy it. And we backed out of two or three contracts because of all the debris. The wetlands were filled. They had uh, scrap metal. They had stacks of wood. They had a condition that we didn't know what we would find, and finally we taught them and to, to negotiating with us. And Mike has spent considerable money. I'm going, I, and I wish and I regret that I didn't take a before and after. Of this Sir, this meeting's being recorded. If you could refrain to comment until you're in front of the microphone, we'd appreciate that. Thank you so much. Okay, I'll tell you what I do. I'll say what I'm going to say and then handle the picture. Perfect. I'm going to hand you, and, I'll, and if you'll pass it from the left to the right, Three photographs, and you don't—I don't want you to study them a lot. You'll see what it, what the neighbor looks like, and it's a sawmill. I wouldn't want my family to think I'm being critical of a sawmill. Some of them look good. This one does not. Uh, but anyway, just you'll see what it looked like, and you'll get an idea of what this property looked like. And I'm not going to take but a minute. I'm not. Uh, I'm not going to take a lot of your time. There are three photographs. Mike bought it in 17, and immediately he spent several hundred thousand dollars clearing up his property. What you're looking at is not his property. It's a property immediately uh, to the, I'm going to say to the east. I think it's the northeast. After Mike spent considerable money, I'm going to show you what the property looks like that's next to it. And how what Mike has done is really a godsend for this property, and we, you know, you'd love to see it in a lot of other property in Lowndes County. <clears throat> While you're looking at just to keep it moving quickly, you've got this property is surrounded by M1 across the road. Uh, to the northeast, and Mike owns all the property to the southwest, 100 acres. We've talked to most owners, and that's, I assume, why they're not objecting, and they don't object to it. We ask that you approve, uh, you accept the Planning Commission's 
uh, recommendation. We have no problem with the paving of the road if we choose to use it. We don't intend to use Weisenbaker, so we did not object to that. If you'll see one of those pictures, you'll see a very attractive berm that was uh, constructed by Mike at a large expense, which uh, several of the owners are very, neighboring uh, owners, are very pleased with that. It's a far better site than they had before Mike. Thank you all. Appreciate your attention. Okay. Any questions for Mr. Langdale? Okay, thank you, Mr. Langdale. You. Is there anyone else that would like to speak in favor of this request? Okay, hearing none, we'll close the public participation portion of the meeting and turn it over to the commissioners for your consideration. Mr. Chairman, I move that we follow the GLPC's recommendation with condition number one for approval. Okay, we have a motion to approve the GLPC's recommendation uh, with, the, with uh, condition number one. Correct. Do we have a second? Second. We have a second. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, I'll call the vote. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 Any opposed, like sign. Hearing none, the motion carries.